Welcome back to Southern Bell Tarot. I do offer private readings. Please see the description box below on how to book with me. The re this reading is going to be over the death of Mr. John Barnett, also known as the Boeing whistleblower who was found dead. And we're going to explore whether this was a murder or a suicide. So uh, the one thing when things like this happen, I want y'all to pay attention to is the, si the times. So we've noticed recently that there have been a lot of issues with Boeing airplanes. Um, we had a United 737 flames erupted from the engine just seconds after takeoff. A 777 had a hydraulic fluid leak during takeoff. Another 737 veered off the runway in Houston. And in New Zealand, a 787 took a nosedive and um, 50 people were actually injured. And uh, one American passenger on the plane said that the pilot told that passenger that he lost control after an instrument failure. Um, one of the things, if you look at the end of the other reading I did over Beyonce and Jay-Z, I talk about MH370. Um, I have said this, I have said this, I have said this, that, uh, our planes are compromised. It is my belief that Russia, China, and other nations know how to control our aircraft without anyone physically being in the cockpit. Um, there was actually another incident that I think happened yesterday or the day before yesterday with um, a malfunction. But in, while all of these plane malfunctionings are happening simultaneously, Mr. Barnett was giving his testimony. And um, was it in front of a, it was a hearing over Boeing, right? Uh, so to think that Boeing would murder him to me would be suspicious because number one it would Im immediately everyone would look to them and like they did it so do you guys think that they would actually murder him why now he's already told everything that needs to be said i mean even if even though publicly we're hearing it people know his testimony people know what he knows you see what i'm saying so what's the point of murdering him now my theory is that another nation did it i think that it could be a foreign nation murdered him to stir up um discontent within our borders does that make sense there china russia and our enemies they're very calculating if you look at my mh370 um videos and then the end of the beyonce and jay-z video i talk about how over the years a lot of these plane crashes that have happened have had um their passenger manifestos have passengers from the uh united nations not United Nations, NATO, excuse me. NATO countries. NATO countries are predominantly the passengers on these planes that went down. Um, I think that it is safer to fly than ever. I think that the issue is, is that um, our enemies know how to control aircraft without pilots physically being in the cockpit. And they also know how to probably make other things um, malfunction as well. Furthermore, I do think that there is an issue within United Airlines and how they store their planes because it seems to appear that um, a lot of, many of these aircraft are coming, are United planes. They need to up their security. And then also, I do agree with the San Francisco theory that there just need, and security just needs to be increased. The one thing that our enemies are good at doing is infiltration. They're good at infiltrating our companies and um, coming on as workers. And you just, you know, think that they're a regular worker. And next thing you know, they are tampering with the product or tampering with aircrafts. That needs to be looked into. It, it's almost at the point now where people who work on aircrafts, like at the airport or build them, should have a vetting process just as tough as the FBI or CIA to include polygraph examinations because it would easily it would be easy for a foreign nation to also persuade someone to take a bribe to uh, do something that could possibly be disastrous if they um, tampered with a plane so if you will pay you this much if you do this you see what I'm saying there are a lot of uh, there's a lot of safety measures that need to be implemented immediately because I also think that we will have, uh, unfortunately, an uh, aviation accident uh, within our borders. And if one thing I know about our enemies is they, when they do things, they do it to where it really pisses us off. So it would be more, more than likely they would choose a passenger. Uh, it would be 
a vulnerable population. Let's put it like that. Uh, they love to piss us off. Just like in 9-11, we lost a lot of police officers and firefighters and first responders. Everyone's life mattered that day. But they know those type of, those things really nag at us when we lose people who serve and protect and help us heal. Again, everybody's life was valuable that day. But they have a way of picking a certain population to really piss us off. It's just, it's just. It's it's psychological and well thought of. Okay, so we I could look into it though. Um, spirit, was there any foul play in the death of Mr. John Barnett? Was there any foul play in the death of Mr. John Barnett? We have the Knight of Swords, which immediately says aggression, yes. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse, which would indicate a dysfunctional relationship. Again, the, but the Ten of Cups represents family. So there's this energy. Just like I said, remember at the, um, at the beginning of the reading, I was talking about the cyber attack. There's this, I was been getting this energy that even one of our allies is turning into a frenemy. This is... We have the King of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords reversed, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands. I'm trying to decide if I want to accept them or not. The Nine of Swords in the reverse can indicate suicidal ideation. It's extreme suicidal ideation. It's, the Nine of Swords is the card that represents that. So, yeah, I will accept these. Seven of Cups. Below the Ten of Cups in the reverse, that definitely indicates muddled. Uh, like, it's like we don't really know where we stand with each other. And then the King of Cups and the Page of Wands. A king to a page. Give me more about the end of that spread. Four of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Mission accomplished. This was methodical. Well thought of. Seven of Pentacles. But unfortunately, whoever the foreign nation is, they are um, not going to get the response that they want. They want, it, they want it to be discord within between the United States and our allies as well. Something about that. But it, unfortunately, it's not going to work. Temperance is at the bottom. So we need to be mindful that they could even try to, they could have even recruited uh, someone from a foreign nation that we are allies with to do it for them, one of our enemies, to make it look as if that nation is responsible when indeed they're not. The person who just in, um, carried out the act is from that nation and was paid a, 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 a fee by one of our enemies to do it. They're, this was smart. Very smart. Very, very, very calculating. Very smart. The the person responsible is more than likely a member of, is more than likely a citizen of a nation that we are allies with, but they were paid by one of our, um, they would be our exam, our, like the equivalent of a radical to us. See, this has corruption, political corruption. Yeah. Give me a second. Perpetrator may try to frame someone else for the crime. I'm, Lord, <laughs> I feel like my readings are getting shorter. Oh, look, watch the video again. So I have to watch this video again for more downloads from Spirit. And then victim was groomed by the perpetrator. Grooming in this sense, bribing, bribing um, that person to do it. It could even be the person who coerced coerced this person into doing this was of the opposite sex and they had some type of sexual relationship i'm getting that see traitor slash betrayal wow that's what this is 
So America, we don't need to fall for it. They're trying to make us argue with one of our allies because the person who actually did it is a member, is a citizen of that country. However, they were paid by an enemy nation to do it. See, a closer examination of the victim's life is needed to uncover useful information. They may have left DNA evidence behind. The key witness is not being truthful about what they know about the crime is at the bottom. And then another law enforcement agency has an open investigation on the suspect. Okay. Possibly for domestic violence. Um... This crime was committed to cover up for a previous crime committed by the perpetrator. What previous crime did they commit? They stole something, probably trade secrets or something like that. I believe that that's my theory. I think that's what I just said is what happened. Allegedly, in according to spirit. Remember, I ain't right about everything, okay? I, I can't say that this is definitively what happened, but this that's definitely what it's giving um, who is tampering with these planes? Are our, or let me ask differently. Are our aircraft being tampered with? That's the four wands. Seven of cups. Three of swords in the reverse. They're so smart. Give me one more. Eight of Wands in the reverse. They're so smart. What has happened is they, like I said, infiltrated whatever these, uh, the aircraft, Boeing. And when they're training people, they're intentionally training one or two people wrong. See, Page of, see, let me talk about this, the Page of Wands. Pages bring news, but when you get a Page of Wands bringing news, you have to verify if what they're bringing is true or false. So while they bring the news, you need to verify it. And that's what's happening. So they've infiltrated Boeing and they've um, trained one or two people wrong on how to assemble a certain part of the aircraft on purpose. So while this person thinks that they're doing their job correctly, they're actually doing it incorrectly. So this has to be multiple people because different parts are malfunctioning. So we have at least one person that's not fully performing the job duties right because they were trained wrongly intentionally by one of our um, enemies who has infiltrated Boeing. That's what this is. That's what it, it, it they, like, that's why I said they're so smart. They're, it, it would look like an honest mistake when indeed it's intentional. Like whoever trained that person, trained them the wrong way. And they knew eventually it would slowly erode or something would happen that it would malfunction. Not immediately, but um, after, you know, so many flights or what have you, eventually, however they trained them to assemble this part or do this, it would, yeah, this is very calculating I mean, it, and it's very scary. Um, very scary. The recommendation from Spirit is that the federal government be responsible for the assemble, how, how planes are assembled. It would, uh, it could honestly be another branch of the military. It's that serious. I'm telling y'all, it's that serious. So that would have to, that would be, um, but that's a private company. There, there's just so much that goes into that conversation that I don't even, my brain can't. Cause this is a lot to uh, analyze as is. They're very happy. They think that their mission is accomplished. Right, and then 
not really getting nothing from this. Well, or I might have to ask, what is this representative of? It could be a, let me see something. We have the Two of Pentacles reverse, okay. The Hermit in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The person at Bowen, and then look, the Five of Cups. The person at Bowen that's doing it, that's the traitor, is someone who is a rags to riches story. It's giving um, uh, the Will Smith movie where he goes to the interview all messed up. This person is someone that people, that Bowen would look at as a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Like uh, the person that pulled themselves up by the bootstraps and was able to get this wonderful job, but they, they're, they're a traitor. They're the page of wands. They're the one that's doing it. Very subtle. I wouldn't be surprised if this person is a foreign agent that was specially crafted for this mission. But this person uh, has a story of being homeless, went to school, I paid my way through college, and now I'm a Boeing, whatever, engineer, Boeing, da da da. That's the person that's doing it, 16, 16 on the clock. The chariot is here. Uh, again, they're military, law enforcement type of background. Um, and that's really all I'm getting off of him. Yeah, this is the person you, they would least suspect. People would feel foolish. Yeah, that's who it is. Uh, and uh, it, it, I wouldn't think he's in the training department. What I would think is maybe one day, maybe they were trained right. And then he comes up and like, oh, ooh, well, wait a minute. They told you that's not how you do it. This is how you do it. And people would believe this person because this person is known to be an expert. This person is someone like, hey, so-and-so sh sh told me that. And maybe that then it could be that that person starts passing it on to their colleagues about, well, so-and-so said it really is supposed to be done this way. And then other, th this is very calculating, very, very smart. No, that man did not kill himself. He was, um, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. For the safety of other people involved around the victim yeah can i can i not whether america is aware of not or of this i don't know and y'all don't want to see pixie yet she got she has a hair appointment on thursday wait a minute girl you, you can't you can't you ain't you ain't camera ready she needs her haircut so bad but i love you guys until next time